Let's solve for x. The equation 7 cosine x minus 3 is 0, where x is between 0 to 2 pi. So for this, I'm going to add the 3 to the other side. Divide by 7. And get that cosine is 3 over 7. Now to solve for x, I have to apply the inverse cosine to both sides. So the cosines are going to cancel. I'll be left with x equals inverse cosine of 3 over 7. And if I plug it in the calculator, I get x is 1.128. Now, notice that cosine is equal to 3 over 7, and we know the acronym All Students Take Calculus. Cosine is positive in the first and the fourth quadrant. So this angle that we found is 1.128 radians. That means this angle also has to be 1.128 radians. But that is not the actual angle. So we have to take the entire circle. Actually, you can think of this as negative 1.128, which you have to add 2 pi to to make it positive. Right? Or another way to think about it is this whole circle is 2 pi, but we have to back away 1.128 radians. So we'll get 2 pi minus 1.128 and if we simplify that, we get 5.155. So these are the two answers between 0 and 2 pi. Next one, we have 6 cosine squared plus cosine x is equal to 2. And again, x is between 0 and 2 pi. This one is nice because I can actually factor it out by bringing the 2 to the other side. And this factors into 2 cosine minus 1, 3 cosine plus 2. So I'm going to set each factor equal to 0. I'm going to add 1 to both sides, divide by 2, and get that cosine as a half. Here I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides and divide by 3. All right, now cosine is equal to 1 half. We know, again, all students take calculus. We expect this to be in the first and the fourth quadrant. The nice thing is this is part of the unit circle. So this is pi over 3. So without having to do much thinking, I know this angle here is going to be the same form, pi over 3. So it's just a matter of putting the correct coefficient here which is just uh, 5. So this is 5 pi over 3 and pi over 3 as the answers. Now we're not done. We still need to do cosine equal to negative 2 thirds. So actually before we do this, um, let's find the inverse cosine of both sides. So inverse cosine of negative 2 thirds. That would give us 2.301 now all students take calculus cosine is negative so that's got to be in the second and the third quadrant the calculator gave us 2.301 which is not quite pi because pi is 3.14 so this angle here is 2.301 so that's one of the answers. And in order to find this answer, this angle, we need to be a little clever. So we know that these two angles are going to be congruent. And this entire thing is pi. So the difference goes here. So we know that this also has to be pi minus 2.301. Now, to find out what the actual angle is, to go here, we first have to take pi and add it to this angle, which is essentially the same thing as taking 
2 pi subtracting by 2.301. So another way to think about this is if this thing is 2.301, so is this thing. And so you would just take 2 pi, the entire thing, and then take away the 2.301 to land over here. So many ways to think about this. Regardless, if we plug this in, we get that x is equal to 3.983. So if we go back to our answers, I'm going to add it to this list. And keep in mind, I, I do have four answers, pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 2.301, and 3.983 for the original question of 6 cosine squared plus cosine x equals 2.